All right, so I've been getting a lot of questions about how to research a profitable breed. And so, meaning like which, how to choose which animal would be most likely to sell or how you can make them pay for themselves. So, you know, none of us can afford all the animals in the world that we want to raise and not have some sort of income coming from them whether it's enough just to pay for their expenses to keep them or enough to where, you know, you're actually making a side hustle income. So, because, I mean, we used to be of the mindset of even animals, everything on the farm or everything on the homestead pulls their weight. They serve a purpose. And somehow we've lost that. And so if you're thinking that direction, I do not want you to think that that is wrong. Absolutely not. So that's, I'm going to stop because I could go on for a much longer time about that. But anyways, to the point of finding a breed that will bring enough income or bring some. This is so area specific as well as, you know, um, species, species specific <laughs> and um, just being observant, okay? So the first thing that I want you to do is go to some of whether you're trying to if you're trying to raise dogs go to the akc website if you are trying to raise rabbits go to the arba website if you're trying to raise goats find the national something breeders association for whatever species you're wanting to do go to that website and find the recognized breeds so you can see you know because some people are mixing breeds and calling it something when i hate to tell you a golden doodle is a mutt that's what it is a golden retriever crossed with a poodle, that's a mutt. That's not a real breed. I don't care what people call it. I don't care what kind of mix. And they call it with something. They're just smushing the names together to make it sound fancy. That's not a recognized breed. It, a, a breed has to be able to have the same parents looking. They look the same and they produce the same exact style of offspring. Because even when you cross, you know, if you cross a golden, two golden doodles, you're not going to get the same looking puppies across the whole Thing. The only difference can be colors. That's the only thing. The body style, the fur coat, like texture and everything should be the same. So that being said, learn the breeds, know what is even recognized. Find the top three to five that you are interested in at least and start from there. Now your area, you may have a hard time trying to find a certain breed because there are some people who just kind of have a pair off to the side and they, um, you know, don't, they don't make it public that that's what they raise. So you might have a little bit of trouble, but it's going to take some time to research and you should be able to find it if you're patient. So find the, the first, you know, top five or so that you want, then start with places like, um, just, I'm going to, I'm going to turn the screen around in a minute to show you how I would do this, but go to Facebook and just type in the search bar plus your local area. Like, well, I'm just going to use my breed for an example is, you know, French Lops for sale in Ohio or in Indiana or in US even <laughs> will help you narrow it down. Um, and you're also, when you get that search, you're going to come up with Facebook pages. You're going to come up with groups. Um, Facebook on the whole is starting to really nail down and not allow animal sales on there. They really don't want you to actually it's in their terms and conditions and stuff. But you will find farms that raise them. You'll find someone's, you know, homestead or rob tree or whatever. Excuse me. And so see what you can come up with there. Then do you want to look through those things to see how, how relevant they are or how, like time relevant. Meaning, you know, if it's five years ago, chances are someone's not checking into that Facebook page anymore. Um, now, here's the other key. Scarcity is good. But that can also mean that nobody wants the breed either. So here's something that I want you to think about is what, well, hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. But the whole thing is do the same on Craigslist. I want you to do that for and just do a Google search. Um, Craigslist, you're kind of coming into the mindset of backyard breeders where they're not really that serious and they might even just be oops litters, you know? <laughs> um, so anyways, that being said, I do some research on all three of those areas or the, the tools and then see what you can come up with. Moving on to what I was saying about choosing a breed is think
think about one, can you market to, to the buckets? The pet people, the people who are actually showing, and then like the 4 H'er who, they want a decent animal, but they don't, they're not quite to the level as far as like confirmation and stuff like that as the shower. So with that being said, look to see what, what, what style of images are people posting with that? Are they just showing you a picture on the ground, which is not healthy for rabbits. Let me just tell you, I'm not going to get into that, but if you, and it looks like a mud hole or they're letting them run into colony, something along those lines, those people are not going to get anywhere near the amount of money that they would if rabbits are raised individually, you know, from, you know, in very good condition and things like that. So I'm going to, uh, if I, I'm going down a rabbit trail, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, so, you know, pay attention to the style and the mannerisms in which people are talking about the rabbits. How are they presenting them? That's going to tell you what possibilities you might have. Um, does the breed have the cute factor? Most people, um, New Zealand's are the breed that are all white and they have red eyes. Um, and now they do have blues and reds. That's a possibility. However, those don't really have the cute factor. Or it's a very unique type of person that wants them. Um, Angoras, English, um, English Angoras, um, English Lops, um, Holland Lops, American Fuzzy Lops. Those, the lot breeds are all typically a good pet breed. But if you go for those and then have good enough quality to also be able to sell to showers, that's when you're getting, you're covering your arches and covering multiple buckets of people that would want the animals you raise, okay? Probably 90, maybe more like 80, probably 80% 80 of my rabbits go to people who namely just want them as a pet. And they think, oh, or some of them might have show their ki the kids might do it in 4-H. The other little bit is more show people. But beyond that, that's the majority of people who are going to buy your animals. But if you have are able to charge a higher price, you have good quality animals, you're going to make sure your animals go to a good home and at least are cared for well. Okay? So that is some key things to think about when you're, when you're starting to do some research and um, you know, just kind of slowly look at the breeds and look at the conversation going on around that breed. Okay. All right. Let me turn this camera around and I will show you on desktop how I do some research and really try to, um, you know, just get a feel how I would get a feel for finding a rabbit breed. Okay. I want to do a quick, um, Google search and then I'm going to show you on Facebook how I would figure out if a a breed that I'm looking at buying or getting into is viable as far as you want people you want people to want it but you also want it to be a little bit more scarce and not necessarily something that everyone has so I know already that Rex or both mini Rex and the standard Rex are pretty popular but I just want to use it as an example so I have a lot of options to show you so Now here, I'm going to, this isn't a video about searching necessarily, but people will search some funny things. <laughs> um, and so, mini Rex rabbits for sale. The one thing that I'm noticing is that people tend to put rabbits in there. They don't just do mini Rex. Um, now I want to point out this tool, you could get it if you want to, and I will link to it in the comment or in the show notes, but this is a Chrome extension. Um, it's called Keywords Everywhere, and it helps you know what people are searching. They give you numbers, um, and it is extremely affordable. It's only $10 for 100,000 word searches. That's the smallest package, um, and so maybe that seems like that's over the top for for you, but to help you know the right words to um, title even your Facebook posts or even the words to use in those, it's it's invaluable. Notice the monthly searches for this is 720 a month. So of course this is going to vary a little bit just because people don't typically buy rabbits. Um, the late 
fall-ish or while well, really early fall um, and up until um, almost Christmas time people will pick up but the point is and that that is very highly searched now if you don't have um, this tool you can still scroll down here to see what are other like phrases and um, states even that people are putting with mini rack shops for sale in such and such place this will tell you an area it will help you there um, figure that out you can also hit the space bar here now you won't see these numbers but you will see um, other states as well so that's another thing to check into um, that will help you figure that out now I want to show you the results here really quick um, let's see this one okay now this one is a person's website and we'll open that one up and look at it this is on the fly remember so I haven't looked <laughs> at any of these um, this one and the this one here is also a classified ads option um, now look at this here though um, this is ooh, it might be a group We'll come over and look at that in a minute while it loads because um, I've got other stuff. The pages are loading, so it's going to take us a minute. Um, but this one is also a classified or it has a sales um, section. What I want us to be looking at um, is what what shows up here on the main page because people for rabbits will scroll a few pages back. But if you are wanting to, you know, possibly get a website up and going or you want to try and get your social accounts to to show up here um you kind of need to know like what the competition is um and different things like that so you can look at it and say okay well how are people showing up here not the ones that are showing up here what are they doing um so this this is a group okay so i wasn't i was hoping that this was a um um, business page but this is what I'm going to use as an example here though so this this group showed up in search but let's see here's what you need to do or make sure that you're looking at okay this is a pretty new group this one okay yeah it's a really tight group too it says we only talk about mini Rex locations has to be in the US nowhere else you can rehome and buy and trade so if this is a sales group but look how small that the location is and that's how many members they got that was really really good um so that's what you really want to look for if they can get a group that is a sales group for that specific of a location for one breed then that that's doing good okay so that's a good um reference i guess so up in the search you are going to do we're just going to do the breed i'm trying to type with something in between my arms and it's not working um, there i don't really know let me go ahead and do for sale i don't really know if i want to do that or not but all right so this is just what comes up after the search but what we want to do first well now let's do groups first okay we want to filter out all the options with just groups so this is what comes up with um the group filter on so here's a good size group that one's kind of well, not this one's kind of small but okay it's a combo so here's here's a very large group where their spe specificity <laughs> is tri-color so um that is one specific color um, meaning they've got white black and like this rusty tan color um now it's pulling up ohio a lot because that's my state um but it's showing up some that have posts in them that have many recs um specifically to those so um you no know, one thing you could do is decide to join a group and kind of use it as a like a market research kind of deal okay so the other thing that you would want to do okay here's one perfect that's what I wanted to do all right so this is for people who show them who get hot and heavy into the breed so there are 15 or not not 1500 yeah 1500 members it's only a couple it's not that old it could be a lot older um, there are 35 posts in the last month, which is pretty active. 
this one would be a great one to like, you know, get in there and learn the breed. These people are heavy into it. Um, so finding a group like that. Now the post is the one that's great. Okay. So this is going to be your strategy of seeing how quickly do people want the animals. All right. This one is new. Now this one is 20 minutes and it's got two legs. So any kind of engagement is good, but we want to try and find one a couple days old just so I can show you some examples. Mm, okay. Let's see that. They're only charging 20, which I feel like you could do a little bit better. Yeah, here we go. Okay, look, this one got 10 shares, two comments and likes. Now here's the thing. We don't know if this person is posting it in a group or if it is on... Yeah, they, it also says new Facebook account too. So um, we don't know if that is a person like on their home feed or anything like that. Um, here's another one. Oh, not for sale. Okay. Um, okay, this one was posted December 28th of last year. So that's okay. Yeah. Now here's the thing you want to look at. Okay, these are awful pictures, by the way. So don't don't be doing this. Um, but they got 11 comments, four shares in this engagement here. So, see, these people are selling them after Christmas, which is very slow. It's not a high, it's just not a high um, time for it. Okay, this one's pretty good. 15 shares, three comments. So that at least indicates that people are liking it. But the point of it is, is it gets you into the research a little bit to see the popularity. So let's go. To my breed. And we're going to go to post. All right. So this one. This one was pretty small. So this one I got two comments and one like. And now here's the thing. Remember, time of year really affects it. So it's kind of slow. Like this one, you're seeing way less comments on these breeds. Mainly because this breed's big. A lot of people don't want to, to do it. Um just because, you know, they're, they're hard to manage. Um, so anyways, I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Let's see if we can, oh, I think I can. <laughs> okay, perfect. I love these groups when they're public. Okay. So here's a group that is only for South Carolina. There's 2000 or 2000, 2000. Yep. Almost 3000 people. So that's just a cute one. We don't really care about that because people, okay, looking for a new home because you have to be careful how you post things because people or Facebook will flag things. Look at this. Four hours ago, 21 comments, three engagements. This is probably a Holland lap. I'm guessing it's a baby. So granted, none of these, um, none of these were like, yes, I want to buy it kind of things. But with all this engagement, guarantee you she sold it. Um, so that's a good indicator. That's hollow ops are a popular breed. Um, and I don't think, regardless, even if they're popular, I think you would do fine selling them anyways. Because um, they have the keep factor. She's just asking. So here's a good thread to look through. Does anyone have bunnies around the Lancaster area in South Carolina? Um, so there's 31 answers. So here's what you want to do. Go through here. This is like awesome. Go through here and look at the breeds that tend to stand out. Flemish Giant. She didn't say. That's a Holland. Holland. English Angora. So finding these are lion heads. So finding hosts like these, you're going to have to dig but it will help you to see what stands out. And also paying attention to what people comment back to these people is also helpful. Okay, so I'm gonna put the brakes on there with that, but do you see what you're looking for? I hope this makes sense. I know it was a little bit haphazard because, but I wanted you to see me going through and you're gonna, you know, be able to see what you're, what you're trying to do the same. Does that make sense? All right. I hope this was helpful for you. And um, if you have any other questions along these lines, I would be happy to make another video around it. Just drop them in the comments.